competition in the tow business can be fierce. But this was a day to come together. More than 100 tow trucks and recovery vehicles from across our region staged at Harbor Island Park in Mamaroneck to join the funeral procession for a driver killed on the job last week. Sal Brescia was 32 years old, engaged to be married on the 4th of July. Soon to be wife lost him. His family lost him. Driver Wes Prieno posted a Facebook walk around of the tremendous show of support. At the tow family is losing a family member. Dozens of drivers who never met Brescia feeling like they've lost a brother behind the wheel. It's close to home when something like that happens right around the corner and you know they're you know close to us and you know it's sad. Last Thursday, Brescia was loading a disabled minivan onto his truck near the Playland Parkway exit on I-95 North. He was struck and killed by a driver who didn't stop. State police have received little in the way of tips. They're scouring businesses up and down the interstate for surveillance video that might show a car with damage. The reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction now stands at $5,000. As tow operators hope for an arrest, they also push for awareness. When you see a truck with flashing amber lights on the side of the road, just move over. There's someone's life on the line. And it's the law in New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Today, there were flowers in the beds of many of these trucks. Tomorrow, they'll be back out on the road doing a dangerous job. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. The Federal Highway Administration says each year about 80 first responders and tow truck drivers are struck and killed while responding to crashes.